particularly is anybody uh, not quite sure what I'm talking about about the the transfers that have to be at least a strong invitation in a new suit the other thing to remember is that when you're talking about the fast qubits you're talking about three level transfers into ops suit so if ops overcall two spades over one no trump then three hearts is the fast qubit of spades because you're transferring into spades you're not normally asking partner to bid three spades you're just showing a particular kind of hand i.e. no spade stop four card hearts game values just the same as three spades would be that if you were playing normal Levensol. Okay, if there's no questions, let's move on. Well, it really, it depends how strong you are. Um, if you're potentially, that's all right, it doesn't matter. If you're, if you're potentially looking for a slam in one of the two, then I think I would transfer into clubs and then show the spades. Um, if you're only looking for a game, then maybe you would show the four card spades and it also depends of course whether you've got a stop of any sort in their suit um, it, it depends on all sorts of things here you know if you had ace king queen x of spades and a void in their suit I might be more wary of looking for a 4-4 spade fit because if we're going to get forced in their suit I could run out of spade honors fairly quickly um, you know what I mean there's, there's things like that 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 come into play uh, you really have to to give me an actual holding uh, because it really does vary okay well it yes okay I mean that'd be a good idea it's that's always a good place to, to put questions like that um, so it, it really does depend on the actual hand okay so if it's a penalty double then Levensol isn't primarily our concern you should be playing something else like intro um, one of these um, escape sequences uh, over one no trump doubled and that takes precedence over Levensol. Levensol might come in later on but it's more likely to be normal Levensol if you're playing competitive Levensol rather than transfer Levensol so initially when ops double our one no trump uh, for penalties you should be either thinking of redoubling for money if you think you can make one no trump doubled um, or getting partner to redouble depending on whatever system you play or you should be thinking of trying to play somewhere else not one no trump doubled it's very rarely in your interests to play in one no trump doubled it's a very bad place to play you're better off either playing somewhere else or playing in one no trump redoubled which is a game um, okay so that's penalty doubles and only penalty doubles okay so there are some um, gadgets 
to defend against ops one no trump where the double isn't showing a single suited hand um uh, some people use it to show single suited clubs or you know maybe the red suits i.e some versions of suction do that um but uh the most common thing is to use it to show an unspecified suit so don't ambrosel do that um So you need to know what ups are playing and what this double means. Because um, if it's if it's the latter kind where it's showing an unspecified single suitor, then Levensol does potentially apply. Okay, so this is this is a critical thing, and and it applies. To be honest, this this applies whether you're playing eleven soul transfer eleven soul or nothing. That if responder has a reasonable hand, in other words, they're not troubled by potentially this conventional double being passed for penalties by the doubler's partner. Um, then normally your best policy is just to pass because your left-hand opponent's going to bid something. They're going to bid a relay of two clubs or whatever. Um, and by the time the bidding comes back round to you, you will know almost certainly exactly what your right-hand opponent holds, i.e. what their double uh, was showing. You know, if you're sat there with a 10 count opposite a 13 to 15 one no trump and your right hand opponent doubles to show a single suited hand, for example, it's almost inconceivable that your left hand opponent's going to have the points to pass this for penalties. He's not even going to think about it. He's probably sat there with a Yarborough um, or certainly a weak hand. And so... You're best off just passing this double. Left-hand opponent's going to bid two clubs or whatever. Um, partner will pass. And your right-hand opponent's either then going to pass two clubs or they're going to bid another suit. And at that point, now you can use transfer 11 sol. And, and your patience in passing initially means that uh, you're not flying blind here. You know... Um, what your right hand opponent has you know what their suit is so now you're in a position to make cue bids to deny or show stops in their suit and so on if you interfere immediately over the double you're flying blind and you have no idea you can't make cue bids because they haven't shown a suit So this is this is the one situation where you might want to think about bidding immediately over a conventional double of partners one no trump. So if you're sat there with a very weak hand, I mean very weak, um, so that it's fairly clear to you that ops have the balance of the points. That's the the central thing here. Um, now there is a significant possibility, even if the double was conventional showing a single suited hand, that actually your left hand opponent is going to think, hang on, if partner's got the juice to show a single suited hand here, I'm sat here with a, you know, a 10, 11, 12 count, um, you know, uh, and I've got a reasonably balanced hand, so I must have some kind of a fit for partner's suit. I don't think they can conceivably make one no trump and they're going to pass the double for penalties. So if you're sat there with a, you know, a single suited hand yourself, albeit as it's very weak, you're better off just bidding the suit over the double. So, again, your mileage may differ, but I always play 
um, that the normal one no trump system is off over doubles um, you know I don't play stamen I don't play transfers at the two level all the two level bids are just to play so if it goes one no trump double and you're sacked there with six card diamonds and two points uh, I would just bid two diamonds and, and expect partner to pass it whether it's doubled or not because there's one thing is absolutely certain that two diamonds is going to be a lot cheaper a contract than one no trump doubled even two diamonds doubled is likely to be cheaper um, significantly cheaper and at least partner's going to get some use out of your hand whereas in one no trump if you've got a two count your hand is probably going to be utterly useless to partner Again, uh, you can assign different meanings to redouble. Um, I prefer, you know, if, if you play normally, if you play something like intro over a penalty double of one no trump, you could, I suppose, play intro over a conventional double of one no trump. Um, but I prefer not to. Um, and so I'm going to pass with a wide variety of hands where I may or may not come in later on. Uh, or if I'm not too concerned, I might have a fundamentally weak hand, but I'm not too concerned about it being passed for penalties. Um, but if I redouble immediately, then I'm basically showing that I've got a weak hand and I want to play in something other than one no trump redoubled or one no trump doubled and uh, I just want partners to start bidding four card or five card suits upwards and as soon as either of us diagnoses that we've got at least a seven card fit you're best off just passing there because um, you've got no guarantee that you're going to find an eight card fit uh, so that's just a, a rough and ready wiggle over uh, one no trump a conventional double when responder is weak enough that they really fear that their left-hand opponent is going to pass for penalties but they don't have a long suit to bid So the last sentence there is important. If you're going to play um, something like intro um, and you decide to play it even when the double is not for penalties, that's not too bad as long as you and partner are on the same wavelength. Um, you know, if you've discussed it and you've decided to play intro even over... Uh, conventional doubles then that's fine but just bear in mind that it can get quite messy when ops continue bidding you know like relays and showing the suit and so on uh, that you're locked into a different kind of sequence um, personally I think you're better off not playing intro as such or any of these other um, wiggle conventions that are out there and there are hundreds um, but they're all essentially achieving the same thing in slightly different ways. Uh, um, I think you're better off not playing that um, because now the meanings of pass and redouble um, essentially are normal and intuitive. So if you've got a long suit, you just bid it. If you're weak, very weak, and haven't got a long suit, and you're basically balanced of some sort, then uh, you can just redouble and ask partners to start bidding upwards, and you just scramble until you find a, a, an acceptable fit. And if that gets doubled, then so be it.
Okay, so I've got one hand here um, that will just show you the sort of thing about, I mean, when Responder has a reasonable hand. Um, so supposing East-West are playing don't against your one no trump. So the double here just shows some kind of single suited hand. Um, south here is sat with a nice hand. I mean, they've got a 14 count opposite a 10 to 12 uh, one no trump. So it's not absolutely certain that you've got a game on. Um, but by the same token, you've absolutely no fear of one no trump doubled going off. Very unlikely. Um, Certainly, it's inconceivable that West will have enough values to think that they can take one no trump doubled off. So, South's best, best option here is just to pass. West is going to bid two clubs as a relay. North will automatically pass. And so now south, effectively, this is we're going to treat the sequence as if it's just gone one no trump, two hearts. You know, that's effectively what east has done. Um, So South doesn't want to force if uh, it turns out North's just got a bare 10 count with only two card spades, two small spades. Um, so the invitation is fine. Uh, I mean, the other way that South could bid this is to bid three hearts over two hearts, which would be a transfer to spades but because they could bid two spades competitively the three heart bid is at least strongly invitational in spades um, certainly if you give south six card spades that's definitely the route that I would choose um, uh, with the hand that south actually has it's entirely a matter of your style and partner style as to whether you bid two no trumps, three clubs, three spades, or three hearts over two hearts. Any questions? Any questions about, uh, not just about this hand? Yes, effectively. I, I mean, but, but you have to agree that over this kind of a double, that if South wants to bid something, they're going to pass over the double and wait for East-West to clarify, or in particularly for East to clarify, what the double was showing. So over the two heart bid we're still playing transfer 11 soul and it doesn't matter that that it's waited for a couple of you know for a round of bidding before we start using it because if south 
if South has a hand on which they want to compete, they will automatically pass over the, the initial double from East. Okay, Peter, does, does that answer you? The delayed or not delayed uh, side of things doesn't really apply in this. If South wants to compete, they're going to pass over the double and wait for East to clarify what they have before they start bidding. Because, like I said, if East, if sorry, if South starts bidding over the double, South has absolutely no idea what kind of hand East has. He doesn't know what suit they've got. Uh, they might even have six-card spades for all South knows. Um, so you, you want East to clarify what they have, and the way to do that is to let Ops get their hand off their chest, and then you come in as South with whatever sequence you decide you want to have. But two no trumps, yes, is still Levin Sol uh, at this stage. And I mean, this, this sequence would potentially apply whether you're playing transfer Levin Sol or normal Levin Sol. It would be the same because South can compete with two spades. So the slow three spade bid is, is invitational whether you're playing uh, um, transfer Levin Sol or normal Levin Sol. But if you swap the majors around, of course, it wouldn't be the same. Okay, Peter. Right. So has anybody got any questions on, on action over doubles um, by ops? This is, you know, I'm trying to really give you more general guidelines. I'm not trying to predetermine that you should do one thing when the double means one thing and something else when the double means something else. The critical thing is, is if the double is conventional, then it's unlikely to be passed unless responder is very weak. Um, whatever the double is showing, it's unlikely to be passed unless responder is very weak. Uh, and so... If responder has a, a reasonable hand and they want to at least compete, the better off passing, finding out what East has, what their right-hand opponent has, and then uh, and then taking it from there using transfer eleven sol. Okay, so. This, this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated and uh, I, I will come to suction style bids later on. Um, initially we're just going to consider these two suited overcalls um, that uh, most defences to one no trump include. Um, but rather than give you one set of actions against Cap and a different set of actions against Brozel. Uh, it doesn't really matter what the overcalls show. They they tend to fall into one of those two, the first two things. It's either a two-suitor with one of the two suits specified and the other one out in the wind, like spades and a minor. Spades is defined, but the minor isn't. Um, or two suitors with both of the suits specified. So, for example, a cap two diamonds, where it goes one no trump two diamonds, showing both majors. Both of the suits have been specified. So, if it's one of those two, and so there's d slightly different kinds of actions by responder, depending on what kind of two-suited overcall has been used and what it shows. Okay, so this is the critical thing, is that if a suit is unspecified, the second suit is unspecified, then it's unspecified. Okay, we just ignore it from the point of view of cube bids and whether we're showing or promising stops anywhere. Um, because we can't do anything else. 
uh, if it's unspecified, we don't know where that suit is potentially. So we have to concentrate on the suit that has been specified in terms of whether we're showing denying stops uh, and for the purposes of what suit we want to qubit potentially. Okay, so here we've had a two heart overcall that shows heart and a minor suit. So now heart is the cubid suit. So three diamonds over two hearts is the fast queue of hearts. And that would deny a heart stop, show four card spades, shows game values. But it doesn't say anything about our stops in the minors because they haven't specified which minor we have. And if you start worrying about whether we've got stops in the minors, you will drive yourself insane. Um, and similarly, a slow three hearts over two hearts uh, will just be showing a heart stop and spade interest and game values. But neither of them, like I said, neither of them says anything about whether they've got stops in both minors, one minor, whatever. We just have to take the minors as red, essentially. Um... Just bear with me a second. Just trying to find you an example hand. Okay, so Okay, so here we've got a two suitor being shown, but with only one of the suits specified, i.e. they specified spades, they haven't specified the minor. So what's East to do here? Um, well, they could, do, they could do two things here, because East has got really quite a strong hand. Um, you know, they've got an 18 count opposite a 13 to 15 one no trump. So they're immediately thinking in terms of a slam, potentially. So they could bid three hearts over two spades. That would be showing game values, because three hearts is the fast queue of spades. Be showing game values, four card hearts, no spade stop. Um... So they could go that route, and that West will probably bid three no trumps. Or alternatively, South could do this. Sorry, East could do this, rather. And I think I would probably prefer this. Um... So, because this is always a strong transfer to clubs, this is immediately telling West that we're potentially looking for a slam here. Um, if we just wanted to play in clubs or three no trumps, um, we might well go a different route. I.e. maybe a fast three no trumps or... Um, by showing the hearts, whatever.
whether you like that sequence or not doesn't particularly matter. Um, all I'm trying to show here is is that we've had a two suited overcall with one suit specified. Um, we could bid three hearts over two spades to show the hearts. Deny the spade stop and show game values. Or we could immediately tip partner off to the fact that we're potentially looking for a slam and bid three spades, which shows at least five card clubs. Partner bids three no trumps to, to say that they're happy to play in three no trumps if necessary. Um, and uh, four hearts is now showing a second suit. Four spades is just showing a control and presumably agreeing one of East's suits. They've shown clubs and hearts. Uh, and it's fairly clear at this point that North has got spades and diamonds. Um, so four spades is just a control showing bid. And now six clubs is saying, if you're agreeing clubs, then let's play in six clubs. If you're agreeing uh, hearts, just convert to six hearts. Because at this stage, East doesn't really know which suit West is agreeing. Any questions? Who cares? We're playing teams. The thing is, Phil, here, I don't think there's any way you're going to persuade East. That's okay. I don't think you're going to persuade East to play in six no trumps here when they've got a single to spade. Um, you know, partners opened a 13 to 15 one no trump. So we do have some stuff missing here. Uh, it's unlikely that West has, for example, um, the Ace King of Spades and the Ace of Hearts and the Ace of Diamonds. Possible, but it's unlikely. Um, so there's there's a reasonable chance that there is. Well, no, not really. I, I mean, the fact is, East has got an 18 count opposite partners uh, 13 to 15, one no trump. So, uh, certainly East isn't particularly concerned. Um, uh, but he has the, East has the advantage here that he can be fairly certain that North has got spades and diamonds. Um, until uh, East bids three spades to show five card clubs no no we're not in asking bids here Walid at any stage I, I mean we haven't got to asking bids yet but the, there is no asking bid sequence available here um, you know, there just isn't the space to start trying to incorporate asking bids in this kind of a sequence. Because <coughs> we're, we're already at the three level um, before East gets a chance to bid anything. Um, so we just have to rely on, on natural bidding and Q bidding. Okay. Alrighty. Um, so, East isn't particularly concerned about diamonds because they're sat above North. Um, and it's, it's unlikely that, you know, with, with East having an 18 count opposite a 13 to 15 one no trump, um, clearly 
some of North's strength is going to be in spades, it's inconceivable that South has got... Well, it's inconceivable that South's got anything, really, here. Um, but it's certainly inconceivable that South has the Ace of Diamonds. Um, so, from the point of view of wanting to be in a slam... The diamonds aren't really that much of an issue for East, and he's the one that's driving this. West's four spade bid, I suppose, is potentially showing some doubt about diamonds. Um, it's saying, I've got the spades covered, uh, which is the one suit that, that North has actually specified. Um... And okay, at this stage, we know that diamonds is the other suit. Uh, and that's really why East is just bidding six clubs, not seven clubs. Okay. Anybody else got any questions? Okay, so um, we can save space sometimes. If you imagine a cap two diamond bid that shows both majors. So if it goes one no trump, two diamonds showing both majors. Now potentially we could Q bid um, either major at the two level. We don't have to necessarily go to the three level in order to, to cubid this one of the suits that ops has shown or if they've only shown you know they might bid um, I don't know two clubs might show hearts and a minor so so now a two heart cube bid is available you don't have to bid three diamonds and we don't we're not transferring at the two level so it is a, a cubit of two hearts, if, if ops have shown hearts and a minor, then a two heart cubit is available. And you should take that. And you'll see that uh, it's actually very important. And it's more important where ops have shown, have specified both of their suits. Um, you can't ignore the two level fast qubits that you've got available but these are um, these are the if you if you qubit at the two level it that is the fast qubit okay it's not a slow qubit it's the fast qubit so that's the one that's denying a stop in that suit This, like I said, this does come become more important when ops have shown both suits. Um, normally, in most instances, I, I'm sure somebody will come up with a, an example of something that's different. But in most instances, where ops are only specifying one suit, they tend to actually bid that suit. So it might be two spades showing spades and a minor, for example. Um, you don't get too many. Um, that's strange. You don't get many examples where they're bidding one suit that specifies a different suit and another unspecified suit. Um, I can't, off the top of my head, think of any examples of defences against one no trump that are, that do that. Um, Right, just bear with me a second. I'm getting some uh, interference here. Um, right. Uh, any questions on two-suited overcalls where only one suit has been specified? Before we move on to situations where both suits are specified, which is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated.
So potentially there, where it goes, one, no Trump, um, two clubs showing hearts and a minor, for example. You could bid two hearts as a Cupid, and you could bid three diamonds as a Cupid, because three diamonds would be a transfer. Um, but for obvious reasons, bid, bid two hearts, because you've got more wiggle room for those occasions when partner hasn't also hasn't got a heart stop but they haven't got four card spades for the sake of example um, right guys sorry I'm picking up somebody looks like they're actually interfering with my system here uh, we'll try and struggle on um, this does happen occasionally Okay. Yeah, that Burano is somebody attacking my system. Uh, if it gets really bad, I may have to reboot, in which case I'll reopen the table shortly. But I'll let you know before I do that. Um, Okay, so uh, I think I've actually got a an example of this. So, as I said before, this is where it starts to get a little bit more complicated. So, please, if you've got painkillers or tranquilizers, um, now is the time to take them. Um, Okay, so South's, South's bid here has specified two suits. They've specified hearts and spades. And so potentially West could Q-bid either of those suits. Okay, they're no longer really interested in the fact that they have four card hearts here because South has shown hearts and probably five of them so even if East has four card heart support um, the fact is we're gonna run into a five nil heart fit so the last thing we're gonna try and play in is hearts so West's four card hearts here isn't really of interest as a suit. It is of interest as a stop. Okay. But West has um, four cards in each minor. So we could potentially play in a minor suit if partner doesn't have a spade stop, for example. So the question is, what should West Cubid here? They've got game values. They've got a 15 count opposite a 13 to 15 one no trump. So nothing is more certain than that we're going to try and play in a game. Um, we could, I suppose, double two diamonds, but they're not going to play there. Um, so there's no really, there's not really any uh, incentive to try and double two diamonds for penalties just to show points and diamonds because um, the two diamonds isn't showing diamonds if you think about whether they've bid one of the suits that they've specified or not if you think upwards in the bidding from the suit that they've actually bid if you bypass one of their suits then you are promising a stop in it if you Q bid the other so here for example if if West bid two hearts here over two diamonds, it would be a fast cubit of, of hearts, and so it would be denying a heart stop. So clearly, that doesn't work. 
if they bid two spades, it's a fast qubit of spades. So that's denying a spade stop. That's fine. But the rule is that if we bypass one of their suits here by bidding two spades, which is bypassing hearts, then we are promising a stop in the suit that we've bypassed. So here, two spades shows... Oh, sorry. So here we've bypassed the heart suit in order to cubit the spade suit. Okay. And it's really a matter for, for partnerships to decide whether we're promising 4-4 four, four in the minors with this sequence or not. Um, So supposing we swap around West's majors here, um, and uh, so they've got four card spades, but a singleton heart, now they could bid two hearts over two diamonds to deny a heart stop, but it wouldn't say anything about their ability to stop spades or otherwise, it would just deny the heart stop because we haven't reached spades so we're not saying anything about that so a qubit of two hearts denies a heart stop doesn't say anything about spades a qubit of two spades because they're fast cues they're denying a stop a bit of two spades denies a spade stop but promises a heart suit a heart stop because we bypassed hearts everybody with me so far um, let me just, in case you forgot where the voice was. Okay, has anybody got any questions just about this business of promising a stop in, in one of their suits that we've bypassed? Okay, well that's good if you if you've all got that um, as I said you can transfer your interest to the minors when ops have shown both majors so it's only in this kind of a sequence um, where they've shown both majors you can play or not as you wish as a partnership as to whether this kind of a sequence is promising 4-4 four, four in the minors or whether you might have a 5-card minor. The thing is primarily where they've shown both majors you're interested in getting to 3-0 no trumps if you can and copping out in a minor if you can't. Um, so it potentially doesn't matter as much if... Uh, you've got a five card minor rather than a four card minor you're always going to try and get to three no trumps if you can and then settle for a minor suit contract if you can't
Okay, so this is the next rule, is that if there is an unbid major, uh, I think I've got another hand here. Sorry, just bear with me a second. Just trying to find... No, I don't have one to show, sorry. Um, that was careless of me. Uh, so, the rule is, is that if, if responder qubits, however they qubit, whether they're showing denying stops elsewhere, um, the rule is that if there is an unbid major, an opener has a four card holding in that major, they always show it in preference to other considerations of whether they have um, stops in necessary places. I said earlier that where ops have shown a two-suited overcall and they've specified both suits, the qubits have to do double duty. So there's no absolute guarantee anymore that Responder has a four-card holding in an unbid major. They may simply have stops in one of ops suit but not the other. But despite that, the rule is that opener always shows an unbid four-card major if they have one. Um, and, and we take it from there, depending on who's denied or promised stops in, in what. Any questions? That may seem dangerous to you, but there are implications that you can take from these um, in terms of which qubit responder has chosen to make. Um, if, they, if they make a qubit such that they are promising a stop in one suit, but they haven't reached the other suit, so they're not denying a stop there. And there is an unbid four card major. If opener shows that major and responder now bids three no trumps to deny a four card holding in the major, there is an implication that they don't have a stop in the other suit. Because if they had stops in both of Ops suits and they didn't have interest in an unbid four card major, they would just a bit of slow three no trumps. So if Opener didn't have a stop in this second suit, the suit that uh, Responder hadn't reached, then they would pull three no trumps to a minor or whatever. Does everybody follow me there? I'm for, Stupidly, I haven't got a hand to actually show that. Um, but maybe one will come up in the example hands later on. But if you... that That's why opener always shows a four-card major, an unbid four-card major, if they have one, when partners qubit. Um, because normally there's a fairly solid inference if partner hasn't got an um, a, a four card holding in that major there's a fairly solid inference as to which suits they can and can't stop so if they bid three no trumps to, to then deny a four card major a four card holding in the major that opener is shown there is an implication as to which of op suits they can and can't stop. So opener can pull three no trumps with confidence if they also haven't got a stop in that suit. Any questions?
like I said, this business of promising a stop in any of their suits that you bypass by cubing another. And this is only applies to the cubids. Okay, if you transfer into a new suit that's not one of op suits, then it doesn't. It's not saying anything about your ability to stop either of their suits. It's only when you're making a fast or a slow cubid that you're sh promising or denying a stop in one or both of op suits. Okay, so if you look at that situation, so two diamonds overcall shows the majors. So two hearts is a fast cubit of heart, so it denies a heart stop. Doesn't say anything about West's ability to stop spades, because we haven't reached spades. Um, and it's a matter of partnership agreement as to what responder is showing in the minors here whether they're promising 4-4 or whether they may only have one four card minor um, similarly two spades a cubit of two spades promises a heart stop because we bypass the heart suit but it denies a spade stop because it's a fast queue of spades two no trumps is eleven sol uh, forcing three clubs as normal. So now a slow cubit of hearts promises a heart stop. And if you think about it, it's also promising a spade stop. Because you bypass two spades. If you didn't have a spade stop, you would simply bid two spades over two diamonds. So this is where you and your partner can start working out the difference between this and a slow three no trumps. Because clearly, if you can stop both majors, um, you're in a position, if you've got game values, just to bid a slow three no trumps. So maybe you know, you can decide that the slow cubit of hearts, as here, shows weaker stops than the slow bit of three no trumps. In other words, you may be the slow cubit of hearts wants a little bit of help in the majors. They've got stops, but not very strong stops. So you want partner to have something in hearts. Um, or maybe, probably something in spades actually more likely um, and if you did a slow cubit of spades that would be maybe wanting some help in hearts again you and your partner can work out these because there's no set set rules um, or it may be that one is potentially interested in the minors if partners really got a weakness in one of the majors and the other one is the slow three no trumps is absolutely, you know, this is where we're going to play. And I don't care um, what you have anywhere. I'm strong enough that I just want to play in three no trumps. Okay, any questions? I'm sorry I don't have a hand to example that. Um, Yeah, I, Charlene, it is. It can be confusing. Hopefully, the example hands that we'll come to shortly um, will actually um, make it a little bit clear because there's more of them. Yes, okay. Um,
Okay, so... Anybody got any questions before we move on to looking at suction style sequences? Okey coke. Haha. <laughs> well, go and see John Loot. He's got the drugs uh, this week. He's he's uh, supplying, I believe. <laughs> Sanya, the thing is, is that South's two diamond bid showed both majors. So so there's absolutely there there is absolutely. You know, essentially, there are no unbid majors because South has bid both majors by bidding two diamonds. Okay, so there's no, there's absolutely no point in West looking for a heart fit or East looking for a spade fit, particularly when, um, even if you do find a four-four uh, fit in a major you would be almost guaranteed a 5-0 trump split. So you, you just wouldn't go there. You'd be better off playing in 3-0 no trumps. Okay? So, so this isn't an undefined major situation, Sanya. Do you understand? Um... East shouldn't be bidding three spades um, because there isn't an unbid, there isn't an unbid major. If if di if diamonds okay if diamonds showed uh, diamonds and hearts for the sake of example and West Cubid two hearts to deny a heart stop and promise a diamond stop okay uh, sorry not promise a diamond stop um, just to deny a heart stop over two diamonds then yes now East should bid two spades because it's an unbid major nobody's shown spades so East would bid two spades West would bid two no trumps whatever but it doesn't really apply to the hands that you can see here because there's no point in uh, West cubiting two hearts when South has shown diamonds and hearts they're just going to be bidding a slow three no trumps because they can stop both of West suits they've got no interest in spades so they would just bid a slow three no trumps Okay. Alrighty, let's move on to suction. Okay, there are multiple different versions of suction. So I can't cover all of them. So once again, I'm just basically going to give you general principles here. Um, the most common version of suction is for an overcall, for example, of two clubs, would show either single suited diamonds or both majors. So the most common version of suction is where the suit that you bid is a suit that you cannot have. And you're normally either showing a single suited hand with the suit above the suit or the other two suits. In other words, two clubs shows diamonds, single suited, or both majors, but you will never have clubs, which is the suit that you've actually bid. That's the most common version of suction. It's the easiest for ops to remember and play, and it's the easiest for you to defend against. However, there are other versions of suction um, where um, diamonds, two diamonds might show diamonds or 
diamonds and hearts. In other words, that suit, single suited, or that suit and the next suit up. Some other versions of suction uh, style bids, two diamonds might show diamonds or both majors. In other words, there you are potentially having um, the suit that you're bidding. So in the in version one, you've always got diamonds, but it may be single suited diamonds or it might be diamonds with the next suit up and hearts. Uh, number two also occurs where you, it might be diamonds or it might be hearts and spades and partner has to decide which of those two they think it is um, and they may pass two diamonds or not but the most common one is definitely number three um, where two diamonds is either single suited hearts the next suit up or the other two suits i.e. spades and clubs but if if ops say that they're playing suction you absolutely need to find out which version of suction they're playing because like I said there are you know probably 10 different versions of suction out there um, uh, and uh, it does make a difference it doesn't particularly make a difference to Levensol, but you need to know which suits they're potentially showing. Okay. Actually, that's sorry. That should read. That last one should read one no trump two hearts, showing hearts or both majors, not two diamonds. Just one minute. Okay, so if they've definitely if they've definitely got the suit that they've bid, i.e. two hearts there, either as a single suitor or as a two suitor, then a double is definitely a takeout double. Um, if you've got a penalty double, you would just pass and hopefully partner will come in with a a takeout double. Um, So a double is for takeout if they must have the suit they've actually bid. Um, if they definitely don't have the
the suit that they've bid, then the double tends to be showing that suit. Yes, I mean, they might have a small doubleton if it goes, if it's passed back to them, Susie, um, they might have a small doubleton in that suit. Um, and it would be essentially a takeout double, not a penalty double. Okay, so this this is a little bit like one no trump double showing a um, an unspecified single suitor. Okay, if they definitely don't have the suit that they've actually bid. So, for example, if it goes one no trump and they overcall two clubs, and that's either diamonds or both majors, and they definitely don't have clubs, then nine times or well, ninety nine times out of a hundred. You can safely pass initially because the way that that easiest version of suction works is that they bid two clubs, partner bids two diamonds, and now if they've got single suited diamonds, they pass, and if they've got the majors, then they bid two hearts, and that shows both majors. Either way, you sat over them have another chance to bid. The only time you're going to get caught out is when your left hand opponent has six or seven card clubs and decides to pass two clubs. I won't say that never happens. It has happened. It's happened to me. But uh, it's it's one hand in a million where that happens. Um, it's not it's not very often that that's that's going to occur so statistically you're on a good bet to pass this two club bid wait for your left hand opponent to bid two diamonds and then wait for right hand opponent to either pass two diamonds or bid two hearts at which point now again you're not flying blind you know which suits you can qubit and which suits you you effectively can't qubit. You know where you've got to try and show or deny stops. And uh, you know which suits it doesn't matter because they've effectively not shown the suit. So if possible, if, if they're playing that version of suction, um, wait, because then you know what to qubit, what not to qubit. Uh, if you jump in sooner, then that's fine, but you have to accept that you can't, partner can't assume, you may have a good idea as to what they have, but you can't assume that partner's necessarily going to be on the same wavelength. OK, so the problem comes and I mean, this is why suction succeeds very nicely as a defense to one no Trump is if they're if they might have the suit that they've bid. Or they might not. Now you're struggling because clearly you're not guaranteed another chance to bid. You may have to take action immediately and. Um, Basically, you have to decide with partner whether you're going to assume that they have the single suitor or the two suited hand where where you can't afford to wait. And it may be that you're wrong, but at least if you're if you and partner are on the same wavelength as to what suits are available to you to Qubit and what suits are available to you to show or deny stops in. As long as you and partner are on the same wavelength, you should normally come out okay. 
and then the same thing applies um, if uh, sorry the same thing applies in with this business of bypassing you know promising stops in suits that you bypass uh, especially if you're going to assume that they've got the two suited hand rather than the single suited hand um, so the same considerations apply if you cube bid the more expensive of their suits from wherever the bidding happens to be at the moment and you bypass the cheaper suit then you're promising a suit stop in that suit whether it turns out that they actually have that suit or not at least you and partner are on the same wavelength any questions I'm going to try and give you an example hand and we'll we'll see how we go I'm not sure if this is necessarily uh, going to apply but we'll see Okay, so we imagine that they're playing the simplest version of suction now. So here, two hearts shows either single suited spades or both minors. But the one suit they won't have is hearts. So the question is, what is West going to do here? So in practice, given that they're playing that version of suction, West is going to pass at this point. Okay, so this is now the fast qubit of spades. Because they've shown single suited spades, this business of bypassing other suits doesn't apply. So here, all we're doing is we're denying a spade stop, promising four card hearts, promising game values. Okay, West is maybe a point light, but... Um, Seems fair enough to me. Okay, so any questions about that sequence? I'm going to change it around in a minute. Um, but has anybody got any problems with the sequence that's shown there? Okay. I'm going to leave the hands the same, but I'm going to send the, suit, the hand again. But we're going to consider a different version of suction Okay, so this is a situation where they've definitely got spades. And it's either single suited spades or they've got both minors. Sorry, both black suits rather. 
Um, so now, because they've definitely got spades, West could come in immediately. Um, if you've if you just agree with your partner that in this kind of a situation you're just going to accept that they've definitely got spades so spades is the cubid suit and you're going to leave clubs in the wind somewhere alternatively you could agree that they're always showing spades and clubs and you're always potentially going to um, to keep both spades and clubs in the cubid mix so let's deal with the second of those first uh, so over two spades we could immediately go to um, just hang a second so if we're going to take notice of the clubs here um, in other words, effectively, we're going to assume that they've got the two-suited hand, not the single-suited hand. So now, this is still the fast cubit of spades, three hearts. So this is denying a spade stop. It's promising four-card hearts, but because we've bypassed the clubs, we're promising a stop in clubs. So that works fine. Oh, okay, any questions on that? Again, there, if you're going to assume that clubs is in the mix, then this sequence promises a club stop because we've bypassed clubs, because we could have bid... Um, oh, no, we couldn't. Actually, no, that doesn't show anything about clubs. Because of... Or, no, we haven't. Phil, you're absolutely right. We we haven't bypassed clubs because three clubs would be uh, a transfer to diamonds. Sorry, my mistake. So actually, this this doesn't bypass clubs. We haven't actually reached a cubit of clubs. Three spades would be a cubit of clubs. And there, so if we bid three spades over two spades. That would be the fast cubit of clubs. So that would be denying a club stop, promising a spade stop because we've bypassed spades. I know we're actually bidding three spades, but we've effectively bypassed it as a suit, as a cubit. Um, so three spades would be uh, denying a club stop, promising a spade stop, and showing four card hearts. This is this business of, of clubs always presenting a problem to Levensol. Sorry. Um, okay, so everybody clear so far on that? Again, I'm going to send the hand again. Um... So this is now the third variety of suction that you tend to meet. And there may be some that I've not. Uh, that I've not come across. You know, the, the reversions of suction, even if they're not called suction, that essentially are based on this kind of thing. Okay, so this is perhaps the most difficult version to cope with. Because you have to decide, um, you can't, again, you can't really afford to pass two spades as West. Because most commonly, um, these people north here would either judge that it's much more likely that north, if you look at North's hand, it's much more likely that south is single suited in spades. And so they're going to pass two spades. So if you pass, you're not going to get another bid. Um, 
it's going to go one of trump two spades pass 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 and you, you're not going to get in again so you can't afford um to take a chance on this whereas if north had four card spades and you know not that good a holding in the minors they might well assume that south has actually got both minors he can but he won't necessarily because he doesn't know that you've got any values if you're passing over two spades you could have nothing or certainly not enough to justify effectively bidding at the three level okay um so if you if if responder say stays silent susie um the one though trump bidder can't really afford to okay so this is the tricky one because you have to decide you don't have the option of looking at north's hand and making a pragmatic decision as to what you think partner has um I'm not sure I suggested that one no Trump openers should start doubling when partners when partners stayed silent. Yeah, I think I think you're 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 looking at two different things here, Susie. Um, there may be when West has taken some action over the double or or some other sequence where um, say supposing uh, I don't know if, if two spades here showed clubs or both red suits then West might double to show four card spades um, and, and now they've shown some values so now opener might double later on as a takeout different type of suction exactly um, but where where responder has shown some values opener might start doubling for takeout if it's a one no trump opener but not otherwise um, okay so and so this version north has the luxury of looking at their hands and thinking i think north south has probably got single suited spades here because i'm five four in the minors it's not likely that partner is 5-5 five, five in the minors or 5-4. It's much, mess, much more likely that South has got single suited spades. So they can take that decision, but you can't assume which way round this is going to be. Okay? From your point of view, South could have either of those two options, spades or both minors. Um, so because you've got essentially a game forcing hand opposite to 10 to 12 one no trump you can't afford to stay silent here so you and partner have to pretty much decide beforehand whether for the purpose of cue bidding you're going to assume that they've got spades or you're going to assume that they've got clubs and diamonds um, And, uh, and then you just bid accordingly, a according to the rules that I've already given you. I, if you, so here, you've got stops in both minors, but you haven't got a stop in spades. So you could still make a fast qubit of spades with three hearts. So that would promise stops in both minors, deny a spade stop, show four card hearts. And in this instance, because... Um, south does indeed have spades that all works out very nicely but there may be you know it may be some other time that partner's got two small diamonds here it's got the spades well covered got two small diamonds haven't got three four card hearts they bid three no trumps and ops lead a diamond and and you're going off because 
although you've got a stop in diamonds it's a very it's a you know it's a solid stop one stop but that doesn't mean you can make nine tricks so you might have been better off playing in hearts on a 4-3 fit for example so anyway it's it's all i'm saying is that suction is designed to cause problems and it and it does cause problems this is the one that causes um the most problems for uh the one no trump bidder and his partner this version where you've either got single suited in the space in the suit that you've actually bid or you've got the next two suits as a two suitor that that in my experience is is the version of suction that gives you the most problem um, but it's essential that you you find out which version of suction they're playing and uh, and have a strategy for each of these three kinds of suction because most versions of suction they may differ in the details but they they tend to fall into one of those three categories okay anybody got any questions right we're not because of my downtime can I have uh, four volunteers please four victims please come on don't be shy jump in we've only got 10 minutes I might try and stretch it a little bit uh, but I haven't had dinner yet one more Douglas you're shown away thank you can we have a north please thank you Sanya <coughs> okay we'll assume transfer 11 soul can you just decide each partnership what defense to one no Trump you're going to play um, and then defend accordingly I think we're assuming we're assuming a 13 to 13 to 15 one no Trump throughout please uh, again I haven't I've forgotten to tailor these hands down to a 10 to 12 one no Trump so if you're going to play suction decide which version of suction you're going to use um, but you don't have to play suction you could play brosel you could play cap you can play don't um, I don't even mind to be honest if you decide on the on each given hand which version you're going to play uh, and as long as you bid accordingly and alert publicly what the bid is showing and then partner can wiggle around if they wish I'll be back in a minute <laughs> All right, so so this double is showing clubs or both red suits. Don't, John, don't forget this is a 13 to 15 one no Trump. John. You might want to undo two spades here. 13 to 15 one, the 13 to 15 throughout, John. Sorry, I have these hands. I haven't, uh, I haven't uh, tailored them to a variable one no Trump. Just assume 13 to 15 throughout, whatever vulnerability. And of course it does affect 
what South is going to bid here. Yeah, but don't forget, John can't see that. <laughs> Sanya, nobody listens to me. <laughs> this is a sepulchral voice from next door has just said, huh, why should they? You never listen to anybody else. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Stabbed in the back by my own wife. Okay, so now Esther... Okay, so two clubs is just a relay. Two diamonds is showing the red suits. Yes, you can be you can be absolutely certain here, Susie, that East does not have clubs. That East has got single suited. Uh, East doesn't have single suited clubs. She's got the red suits, two suited. So two no trumps is eleven sol, three clubs is forced. So three spades is mildly invitational in spades. Because John could have bid three hearts over two diamonds, and that would have been at least strongly invitational in spades and I personally I agree with South's bid here no I, John I, I think your sequence is absolutely right you've got an aceless hand you're semi balanced um, I, I think the mild invitation is fine okay you're maybe a little bit yeah if you really insist you can have an undo That will undo right back to there. Thing is here, if John if John just wanted to compete in spades, they could bid two spades. So now we have two different strengths of inv of invitation. We either have the mild invitation, which is what John is going for. Again, having undone. Okay, so this is the mild invitation. If John had bid three hearts, it would be either strongly invitational or forcing in spades. I, I think personally, I like this route here. Um, because John is semi-balanced, he's got an aceless hand, um, and he hasn't really got any control in the two suits that East has shown. So the chances of potential roughs in diamonds is significant. So I, I don't think he wants to make a strong invitation. Uh, I think the mild invitation is perfectly right. But again, it's just for South to make a decision based on their hand. Any questions? Okay. So I'm just going to zip through some of these. We'll try and get as many as we can. Um, it's going to take another 15 minutes for the uh, oven to heat up. And at that point I'll probably have to just head. Because we haven't eaten yet. We did lead and claim, Charlene. This is a different hand.
You're welcome. Yeah. 13 to 15, one no trump throughout, Esther. Forget the variable one no trump for these hands. It's 13 to 15. In fact, I think you'll find that almost all of them are 15 counts. No, you don't have to play suction. You, you, if need be, you just, you know, John decides what defence he wants to play on this particular hand. And um, bids accordingly. As long as he says publicly what his bid means, then everybody at the table knows... Oh, that is tricky, John. <laughs> He's just say, oh, you'll have to say it publicly, John. John, you, you'll need to put a public message in because Sanya can't see your alert. Okay, so this is a weird version of suction that nobody's ever heard of, where two clubs is showing either single-suited clubs or a two-suited hand with spades and diamonds. See what Douglas makes of this. You're just going to confuse things if you. No. No, Douglas, it's not. Um, two level bids are not transfers. It's the three level bids that are transfers. Um, so if you bid three diamonds here, that's at least strongly invitational, if not forcing, in hearts. You could bid two no trumps, three clubs, three hearts as mildly invitational. Yes, that's right. Two diamonds would just be showing diamonds. So, like a good girl, Esther indicates that she would accept a strong invitation in hearts. You thinking of bidding slam, Douglas? <laughs> Think again. Nah, it's a 13 to 15 one, no trump. <laughs> Yeah, but you got no control of clubs at all. I mean, if put it this way, if uh, if South's got the ace of clubs and they've got single suited clubs, you're running into a club rough straight off the top. Ace of clubs and a club rough, because partner must have at least two, and if they've got singles, if South has single suited clubs, they've got six. I think you'd need control of the clubs if you were going to do that. Okay, well done. Let's find a different kind of hand. Try putting in some cap and brosal bids as well, guys. Um,
Because if you're always going to play suction, then it's only giving people practice defending against suction. Um, if you mix in, you know, maybe just make this both majors. Forget the diamonds. Make this just majors. Yeah. There is a point here, actually. Sanya, just wait before you bid on. You see, Sanya could bid immediately over two diamonds. Because two diamonds is showing both majors. Um, she could start Q bidding immediately over two diamonds. There is perhaps some sense um, in waiting. Not on this hand. Uh, I, I wouldn't wait on this hand. Um, but on some other hands where it might be useful to know which of the two majors East preferred before making a decision as to which way to go. Here, where North has the hand that they do have, I wouldn't wait. I would start bidding immediately over two diamonds. So here I would just bid two spades to show a heart stop deny a spade stop but having game values but anyway go on Sanya you you chose to go this route no sorry I forget the alert we decided that the two diamond bid was just showing the majors that it was a cap two diamonds I know he alerted it originally as diamonds or both majors but and if it was, then you're quite right to pass. But if you had a slightly different hand, Sanya, that's fine. If you, if you had a slightly different hand than the one that you do have, okay, but on a different hand, you might. There might be a point in waiting to see which of the majors East preferred before deciding whether to start showing a stop or not. You understand, there may be some sense, but here with the hand that you have, there's no sense in waiting when two diamonds is just showing both majors. Anyway, you can still bid the, make the bid that you were going to make. You just have to do it with three hearts rather than bidding two spades over two diamonds. So this effectively is by... No, you don't need to undo, Sanya. That's absolutely right. Three hearts is a fast cubit of spades. But you've effectively bypassed the heart suit because you didn't bid three diamonds. So you're promising a heart stop, denying a spade stop. The idea of showing unbid majors doesn't come into it. A double by um, North. I personally, I would play it as a penalty double. Um, Paul are at the right vulnerability it might be the the best way to go you know if it was green against red for north south um, they might decide that there was a better chance of getting lots of tricks or getting them enough off doubled that uh, it would be a better bet than 
a non-vulnerable game. But not on this hand. Okay. Any questions? Okay, one more. Sorry, just bear with me. Well, that would be a slow qubit of spades. That would be effectively promising stops in both majors. And again, you would have to work out the difference between a, a, a slow qubit of two spades and a slow three no trumps, which would be promising stops in both their suits. Okay. Okay, Sanya. See, a slow cubit of spades is is bypassing hearts, so it's also promising a stop in hearts. Okay. Um, <coughs> right, let's assume North South are playing Brosel, please. Don't forget to alert Esther. What's three clubs showing, Douglas? Douglas, what do you think three clubs is showing? Right, but what's it showing about the majors? It's a, it's a cubid. Well, no, you're right. It is denying a diamond stop and it's showing game values, but it is showing it is stay manic.
Yeah, quite right, John. <laughs> And again, it's for East West really to decide when uh, Esther is denying. No, Phil, I was just actually going to come to that. Um, it doesn't, the three spades isn't necessarily here a thing of slow arrival. Um, if it was hearts, definitely would be. But don't forget that it's possible here that East might have four card hearts, but not four card spades. It's a matter, I was just about to say, it's a matter for East West to decide whether three clubs here is definitely promising both majors when they haven't got a diamond stop. Or whether it's possible for East to only have one major. Ellie, three diamonds would just be a transfer to hearts with five plus hearts. Weak or strong. Well, it, Paula, that's the point. If, if East doesn't have four card spades, they just bid three no trumps. And now West knows that they've got four card hearts, not four card spades. And they have to decide whether they're going to stand three no trumps because they've got good enough diamonds or not. With King Jack to four, they're going to happily play in three no trumps. Okay. Michael, it depends on your agreement. I, I mean, I did cover this in, in the earlier lesson. Where you're making the fast qubit of a minor that ops have shown to deny a stop in that suit, personally, I prefer that you've always got both majors. Um, if you were promising a stop in their suit, if it was a slow three diamonds, then... I personally would play that you might have both majors, you might only have one. So it's a matter of, of what East West decide they're going to play here. This is the sort of thing that partnerships have to discuss if you're going to play Transfer Eleven Soul. Um, you don't have to play it the way that I play it, for sure. Um, but I, I tend to play that if you're denying a stop in a minor, that you probably do have both majors. If you're promising a stop in the minor, then you might only have one of them. If you might only have one of them, then you can't really afford to bid four spades here as a fast arrival in case partner hasn't got that major. You have to bid three spades, so you can't read anything into three spades rather than four spades. But if East West were playing that three clubs definitely promised both majors, then yes, three spades is more encouraging than four spades. But I don't think you've quite got enough for slam here anyway, so I think it really makes a difference. Okay, guys, I think I'm going to leave it there. I need to go and cook my dinner and, more importantly, cook Naomi's dinner. Um, I hope you've enjoyed it. Sorry about the disruption earlier on. Um, fortunately, rebooting has uh, seen whatever or whoever it was off. So please come back next week. Next week, we're looking at Levensol extensions, particularly using Transfer Levensol over takeout doubles of their week twos um, but we'll also have a look at three suited Levensol and 
Levensol after reverses and stuff like that. Alrighty, night all, and uh, have a good week, and I'll see you next Saturday, hopefully. Yeah, John's practice tomorrow night. Um, don't forget that. Uh, hopefully I'll be there, but we'll never know. See you soon, guys. Take care. Bye.